Welcome to the HRP Statistics Portal video series, where we will be discussing data management considerations when planning a public health research study. In this series, we will be focusing on data management considerations for research study planning. Data management in research refers to the systematic handling of data, organization, documentation, curation, storage and sharing of collected data throughout the entire life cycle of a research project. Effective data management ensures integrity, accessibility, and usability of research data, and also plays a critical role in supporting transparency, reproducibility, and long-term value of research outcomes. It is important to ensure that the data collected during a research study complies with ethical and regulatory requirements including obtaining informed consent from subjects in addition to enforcing data privacy and protection controls. Data management planning should start early, before study initiation, to ensure best practice guidelines are defined and adhered to from the beginning. Implementing the fair guiding principles for scientific data management and stewardship is recommended to ensure findability, accessibility, interoperability, and reusability of research data. A data management plan, or DMP, is a formal document that should be developed for every research study and alongside the research study protocol. The two documents are complementary to one another. A well-designed research protocol outlines the methodologies, data collection procedures, and analytical techniques to be used in a research study, which are crucial for understanding the nature of the data that will be generated and collected. The DMP, in turn, addresses how the data collection system will be developed, the process of data collection, how data are documented, curated, stored, and shared, hence providing a roadmap for the handling of research data throughout the research lifecycle. The DMP should follow the Standard Operating Procedures, or SOPs. A good DMP should contain the following elements. Data collection. What is the source of your data? In what formats? And how much data will be produced? Data curation. How will the data be cleaned, documented, and organized, including file formats, naming conventions and version control, address the metadata creation, and clearly articulate the alignment of these curation practices with your research goals and compliance requirements? Storage, backup, and security. How will the storage and security of your data be addressed? Access and sharing. How will the data be accessed by other researchers? Archival. What are your long-term data preservation plans, roles, and plan oversight? Responsibilities for aspects of data management throughout the project and resources required for implementation. Data management responsibilities extend beyond the principal investigator to include various parties involved in the research process and those who play a role in ensuring good quality data stewardship. It is essential that the roles and responsibilities of data management are clearly defined and assigned rather than assumed. Specific roles in data management may include a project manager, data manager, and data entry operator. For each task identified in your DMP, identify the skills needed to perform it, match the skills with available staff, identify any gaps, and then assign responsible parties and monitor the results. As an example, the DMP for the HRP's refractory hemorrhage devices, RED trial, which was initiated in 2020, was developed before the trial started and instructions were provided on, the work to be performed, responsible staff for the work, and guidelines to be complied with. Data roles and tools were defined for each participating center. Data collection was conducted using the Open Clinica system and curation performed by the HRP data management team. Other documents, such as the screening and enrollment logs, participant form register, serious adverse event tracking log, and query sheet were also developed for each center. Guidelines with instructions were provided, including on how to complete each CRF, correct the data, entered in CRFs, address queries raised in the Open Clinica system. Progress reporting of the trial was done monthly to HRP by each center. 
while data monitoring was conducted by way of routine visits by the HRP study team and or external monitors. Finally, instructions for maintaining security and confidentiality, as well as for storage and archival of data, were outlined in the DMP. The success of a research study depends on a well-written DMP that is continuously updated throughout the research study life cycle. Any changes made during the conduct of the study should be captured in the DMP. This concludes our short talk on data management planning. Stay tuned for the next topics in the series on data management considerations for research study planning, where topics including case report form development, database or ECRF development and study sites data managers trainings will be discussed. For more, please visit the HRP statistics portal and request access. The link is provided in the video description.